Yo, what's good YouTube, it's your boy Introspective, and back in the Smash 4 days, yeah, we refer to them as the Smash 4 days now. I made a few videos about how Smash characters were in school or YouTubers, and I thought they were pretty fucking dumb, but they ended up being some of my highest viewed content from back in the Smash 4 days. Ever since Ultimate came out, probably the thing that's been requested most is that I revisit this idea. But I always thought it wouldn't work because I've already made jokes for most of the characters, and there aren't really enough new fighters to make a full video on the school topic. So I think I found the solution. What if they were to choose the fighter pass? Which fighter would each character want to see the most alongside them on the roster? Today I'm here to answer that question that I'm sure I'm the only person who's ever asked ever. So let's kick it back to the old style of the Smash 4 days and get started. Mario is the mascot of Nintendo, and it's really gotten to his head. This cocky bastard wouldn't want to see anyone other than a variation of himself in the game. Maybe Paper Mario in this instance? Although I wouldn't be surprised if he wanted Baby Mario, so that there was no chance that another Mario would be higher on the tier list than him. Donkey Kong is a meme himself with the famous DK rap and all of its variations. So it only makes sense that he would love to see his fellow meme man Funky Kong in the game to add some funky mode to the roster. Link just wants a version of Young Link that's more unique by using masks from Majora's Mask, turning into a Deku or a Goron or a Zora. He just wants to fight with his fucking masks in this game for once. By the way, it's me. I'm Link. I'm the one who wants this. Samus is a bounty hunter who often works alone in dire situations, so she values friendship more than anyone. And that's actually why we need her boy Anthony Higgs in Smash. Make it happen, Sakurai. Anything Metroid related. Because that new Metroid Prime game feels like a figment of my imagination at this point. Dark Samus wants a playable Metroid in the game. That way she can fight as herself, against DNA of herself, and the DNA of herself can also fight the other DNA of herself, or herself, or herself, the DNA of herself, and the DNA of herself can all have a free-for-all against themselves. Yoshi wants Birdo in the game, cause that's his partner, who is apparently also a dude? I never knew that until this video. I am diving deep into the Mario lore for you people. Please hit like on this video. Please, for my sanity. Kirby voted for Bandana D in the Smash Ballot, and he also mains him in Smash Flash 2. Looks like the Megaton Punch Championship isn't the only place he wants to compete against him. Fox wants his whole crew, but his first choice is most likely Peppy Hair so that every time someone spams roll, you can spam Peppy's down taunt. Pikachu wants all the attention and was pissed when Pichu was added. I mean, Pikachu thinks he's the best. He even turned down a Thunderstone once, so he'd probably want the least popular Pokemon so he stays the star. Silcoon. Pikachu wants fucking Silcoon in Smash. Luigi has always taken a backseat to his brother and hasn't gotten the spotlight much in his sad, pathetic life. But he does have his own game series in Luigi's Mansion, and he takes a lot of pride in that, so it would make sense that he would want someone from there. Most likely his old pal E.Gad. Ness already has one of his boys in Smash, Jeff, as an assist trophy. He's fought Porky in Brawl, so if I had to guess, he's an annoying little kid, so he most likely wants Goku. Captain Falcon just wants anyone new from his franchise. Please. The man has been alone for over 20 years. No new rep, no new game, nothing. He just wants to feel alive again. He just wants Samurai Goro to not be an assist trophy. Puff is a renowned singer, and she wants more competition not only in combat, but vocally. And that is exactly why she wants the playable character Adam Levine from Rock Band as Challenger Pack 7. Peach wants Toad to finally become a playable fighter so that she can have a better neutral B. Everything about her is great, except her neutral B. By having Toad become playable, she can finally attain her dream of a better neutral bee, solidifying her spot at the top of the tier list. Daisy wants Toad to finally become a playable fighter so that she can have a better neutral bee. Everything about her is great except her neutral bee. By having Toad become playable, she can finally attain her dream of a better neutral bee, solidifying her spot at the top of the tier list. What? I mean, they're literally the same character in this game, so why wouldn't they want the same thing? Bowser obviously wants Doug Bowser in Smash, so they can finally duke it out to determine which Bowser is the true president of Nintendo. And if you ask me, in the Bowser vs Bowser matchup, my money is on Bowser. 
If you've played Ice Climber, then you know there's not much going for it in terms of character variety. So, I guess the Ice Climbers would most likely want either the Condor or Shrek. But most likely Shrek. And if you think Shrek can't be in Smash, think again. Sheik is Zelda in disguise, so she would probably want to see another low-key Zelda in Smash. Perhaps Tetra to go alongside Toon Link. And maybe she'll get gutted to not have reliable kill options as well. Zelda is sick of Link having multiple copies. It's her name on the face of the franchise, and so she wants more versions of herself as well. Be on the lookout for Toon Zelda joining the roster sometime in 2023. Doc would like to see Dr. Baby Rosalina in Smash. Not because he likes her or anything, but because he despises her and is disgusted that Nintendo would disgrace his practice like this, and now his sole mission in life is to destroy her. Pichu is Baby, so he wants other Baby in Smash. Pichu wants friend Igglybuff in Smash 2. What a doubles team that would be. Since Fox wants peppy hair, Falco would bring in Slippy Toad. That way the original crew is back in action, but this time taking on the world of Smash. I don't know why, but the thought of that fills me with a warm nostalgia. Even Marth thinks there's way too many Fire Emblem characters now, so actually, he just wants to see Master Chief make an appearance. I went on Google and looked up Lucina's friends because I haven't played her games, and I found this image. And so canonically, Lucina wants Spider-Man and Smash Bros. Young Link wants Skull Kid to stop being an assist trophy so he can join the roster for a real fight. Once again, I am Link in this situation, and I am the one who wants this. Ganon is the King of Darkness, and the edgier that darkness is, the more he likes it. And there's no edgier darkness in this universe than in Kingdom Hearts, so I'm sure Ganon would love to see Ansem fighting alongside his fellow villains in the game so they could talk about darkness together. If you know Mewtwo, he thinks his power is unmatched, so I think he would want to prove that against his other fighting game counterpart, Shadow Mewtwo. You may be expecting a joke again, but some shit is just too serious. Roy doesn't care about a new character in Smash. He already has plenty of competition from his world. What he actually wants is for Roy to be removed from the game forever, because he thinks there's room for only one in this game of 80 playable characters. Krom wants all of the Shepherds in Smash. Yep, every single last one of them. Has its own Fighter Pass. And before Fighter Pass Volume 2. You guys, Game & Watch is about as bare bones as it gets. The game series, I mean. There's like nothing else from his world. But he does make a cameo in Donkey Kong Country Returns, and through that loophole, he wants Cranky Kong. Meta Knight is my favorite character in the Kirby series. He's got his own motives and way of doing things, and that often makes him either a friend or enemy of Kirby. But if I had to guess who he would want, I would most likely guess that he would want himself, in his brawl form, so that he can just become everyone's enemy and befriend no one. Pit would love to see his rival Dark Pit make an appearance in Smash. Much like Pit, Dark Pit has many ways of... Wait, Dark Pit is in Smash? Shit, I forgot. No one plays him. Alright, well in that case, Pit probably wants Viridi playable. I think Dark Pit would want to see Hades from Kid Icarus Uprising. I can't confirm this, but I would hope that's who he would want, because Hades is fucking awesome. Have you heard this guy talk? Hades. Metroid Zero Mission is one of the most underplayed games in the Metroid series, so Zero Suit would want to see more reps from that game. It's where she made her first appearance after all. So let's get some Kraid action in here, since technically this is his first appearance in Metroid as well, since there's a retelling of the original sto- I'm looking way too deep into this shit. You would think that Wario would want Waluigi to finally be playable in Smash, but no, not even Wario wants that. But Ashley would be cool. You know, this is on some Dark Samus shit again, where Snake wants to see Big Boss so that he can fight a clone of himself as himself, or he can fight his twin brother Liquid Snake, so that's kind of like a clone of him if you want to put it that way. Look, the Metal Gear story is an absolute mindfuck. Basically, Snake just wants more dudes with explosives. Ike fights for his friends, and so, he wants his friends. But not to fight them, to, you know, fight for them. Since the Pokemon trainer in Smash is based off of Red, it's only right that his rival, Gary motherfucking Oak, is in Smash. And I'm not even talking about Gary like he uses Pokemon to fight. No, I want to fight as Gary motherfucking Oak in Smash. We all know that Diddy Kong really wants Trixie Kong in Smash, cause that's his true partner, right? 
wrong. Diddy Kong wants fucking Conker, who made a cameo in Diddy Kong Racing. That's the move right there. Lucas just wants his mom. I mean, to be real, he wants his mom and anything that he can get at this point, really. And that's gonna do it for part one. That was half the roster, so we'll do the other half in the next part. Man, it's crazy that you have to go through 40 fighters to cover half the characters in this game. But anyways, thanks for watching as always. I have merch if you guys want to check that out, plant and czar gang tees, really cool designs, I'll put the link in the description. And we also have a community discord that anyone is free to join as well, the link for that will also be in the description. Guys, to the people still watching this video, I thank you so much for still supporting my content. I've been through a lot the last year. I was diagnosed with depression and still fighting that, and I lived in two different states, and I'm really just trying to get back to a consistent schedule. So thank you all for being patient, and still watching your boy after all these years. I'll see you all in the next video, have a great day. Deuces!